The movie takes place on the New England island of New Penzance. In the beginning, we are introduced to a 12-year-old girl, Susie Bishop, through a series of shots describing different families living on the island. Susie lives with her parents, Walt and Laura, both attorneys, and her three younger brothers, in a house called Summer's End. Next, we are taken to Camp Ivanhoe, a cocky scout summer camp led by Scoutmaster Randy Ward. One day at the camp, Ward finds one of the 12-year-old boys named Sam Shakuski missing from breakfast table. So he and the other junior scouts go to check and soon discover that Sam has fled the camp, leaving a letter for Master Ward. Through the letter, Ward learns that Sam has resigned from his position as a cocky scout and fled. After this, Ward quickly informs the island police, Captain Duffy Sharp, about the incident, and we learn that Sam has stolen several supplies from the camp. Also, Ward and Sharp contact Sam's guardians, the Billingsleys, and learns that they are in fact his foster parents, and Sam is an orphan with a history of behavioral issues at home. They are also surprised to hear that the Billingsleys no longer want Sam back because of his emotionally disturbing behaviors in the past. Having no options left, Scoutmaster Ward tells the cocky scouts to use their skills to set up a search party and find Sam. They also enlist the help of the scout dog, Snoopy, as the boys begin their search. On the other hand, Captain Sharp begins his own search, going door to door to ask the neighbors about Sam. Next, we see Sam rowing down in a small canoe with supplies and a rifle from the camp. After a while, he docks his canoe and leaves with a backpack. After covering the canoe, he then meets Susie in a field and we learn that both of them had planned to run away together. The scene then transitions to one year earlier in St. Jack's Church in the summer of 1964. Sam and Susie, both introverted, intelligent, and mature for their age, meet during a church performance of Noise Fluttle. Soon, after their first meeting, they become pen pals and begin writing letters to each other. Back in the present, the pair discuss their next step to reach a secluded cove on the island. On the way, Sam teaches her a thing or two about how to survive in the wild, all the things that he had learned in the scout camp. As they proceeded towards their destination, they hike, fish, and camp in several places led by Sam. Eventually, the two of them bond over the course of their correspondence. Back in Summer's End, Susie's family learns about her disappearance, so they ask Captain Sharp to search for their daughter as well, having no idea Sam and Susie are together. As Susie's father, Walt, joins Sharp in his quest, he opens up about Susie being a troubled kid. Somehow, Walt feels that he and his wife are responsible for Susie's behavior. Next, Susie's mother, Laura, discovers the letters that Sam and Susie exchanged over the last 12 months. They learn that the pair had developed an intimate relationship over time, as both of them found themselves misfits in their homes. As a result, in September 1965, they executed their plan of leaving their homes, as Sam escaped from Camp Ivanhoe, while Susie runs away from Summer's End. On the other hand, Captain Sharp and Susie's mother Laura have an affair that is well known to Susie. Although they think that Walt has no idea about their affair, he is already suspicious of them after catching Sharp outside their house several times. One day while searching through an open field, the cocky scout group finds a can of cat food that was brought by Susie for her cat. Captain Sharp quickly deduces that the pair is nearby and splits the group to diversify their search. They even take the help of a stunt plane to fly nearby the island in search of the pair. Meanwhile, Susie and Sam realize that the scout group and the police are looking for them as they continue their journey. Eventually, a group of cocky scouts discovers the duo in the forest and confronts them to surrender. When the pair refuses to surrender, the scout's de facto leader, Redford, hurdles towards them in his motorbike as Susie loses her temper. During the resulting altercation, Susie injures Redford with a pair of scissors, causing the scouts to flee in fear. However, Susie feels guilty about her temper as Sam consoles her for her action. Also, a stray arrow fired by one of the scouts kills Camp Ivanhoe's dog, Snoopy. Next, Captain Shook and his team quickly transport Redford to the nearest infirmary as he lies down in pain. Feeling sad for his lost daughter, Walt loses control and berates Ward for not controlling their scouts. Amidst the chaos, one of Sam's old teachers arrives on the scene and informs the group that Sam has always been fascinated with the idea of retracing the original path of the old Chicksaw Harvest migration. As a result, he thinks Sam is following the same path and he might be able to predict his next stop. Meanwhile, Susie and Sam reach the shores of the island and decide to settle their camp there. After swimming for a while, Sam is seen painting a portrait of Susie as she lies in a pose. While Sam is painting, the pair mutually decide to change the name of the place to Moonrise Kingdom. Later, 
Sam makes a set of earrings for Susie using beetles found on the beach and even pierces her ears using fishing hooks. As the day settles in, the romantic tension between them grows and they begin to dance on the beach and share their first kiss. Later that night, we see Susie reading from one of the books she brought along for the journey while Sam listens to her. The next day, Susie's parents, Master Ward, the scouts from the Camp Ivanhoe, and Captain Sharp finally find Sam and Susie in their tent. Susie's parents are enraged to see the two of them in such a state as Laura grabs her and takes her with them forcibly. Shortly after, Ward gives Sam a letter from the Billingsleys, stating that they no longer wish to have Sam, which saddens him. On their way back home on the boat, Walt orders Susie never to make contact with Sam ever again. However, Susie quickly reprimands and threatens him, quoting that one day she will be pushed too far and there will be severe consequences. Meanwhile, Ward goes down to console Sam, who is heartbroken to learn that his foster family disowned him. Ward also praises him for the campsite design that he set up back on the beach. Next, having no options left, we learn that Sam will once again be handed over to social services. Also, because of his most recent skit, he will most likely be placed in an orphanage and possibly treated with electroshock therapy. However, until the people from the social services arrive, Sam is made to stay with Captain Sharp. While his time together with Captain Sharp, they talk about each other's life as Sam is offered some beer by Sharp. Meanwhile, back at Camp Ivanhoe Treehouse, the scouts talk about Sam's future as they start worrying about him. Eventually, they have a change of heart and decide to help Susie and Sam so he doesn't get sent back to the social services. Next, Laura sneaks out of her house to meet Captain Shook to put an end to their affair. Meanwhile, the scout boys sneak into her house to help Susie run away. From there, they pay a visit to Sam to inform him about their plan to help the pair get off the island. At first, Sam rejects their help, but eventually comes to their terms when Susie shows her face. Together, they paddle to neighboring St. Jack Wood Island to seek out the help of Cousin Ben, an older relative of one of the scouts. Back at the summer's end, Laura and Walt apologize for their harsh behavior toward one another, especially Laura. However, it is clear that the couple no longer wishes to stay together any longer. Soon, Susie's parents and Master Ward discover that Sam and Susie have once again run away with the help of the Ivanhoe scouts. In the meantime, the group finally arrives at the neighbor island and meets Cousin Ben. Ben works at Fort Lebanon, a larger cocky scout summer camp on St. Jackwood Island run by Ward's superior, Commander Pierce. Ben decides to try to take Sam and Susie to a crabbing boat anchored off the island so that Sam can work as a crewman and avoid social services. Shortly after they meet, Ben reveals that he is a civil law clerk, which allows him to declare birth, death, and marriages. Hearing this, Susie and Sam present their wish to get married, even though Ben reveals that the wedding ceremony performed by him won't be legally binding in any courthouse because of their minor age and lack of parental consent. Before performing the actual ceremony, he gives the couple a moment to rethink their decision, but their answer still remains the same. After their wedding, Susie and Sam rush to the small boat driven by Ben to catch their ferry. Moments into their journey, Laura realizes that she left her beloved binoculars in the chapel and Sam is compelled to retrieve them. However, upon returning back, Sam sees the binoculars under Redford's possession, who has no intentions to return it back. Having no options left, Sam is forced to attack him and retrieve the equipment as Redford alerts the entire camp about Sam. As a result, Sam and Susie never make it onto the crabbing boat as the entire Fort Lebanon scout group starts pursuing him. Soon, Sam is reunited with Susie and his friends as they try their best to evade the chasers. Eventually, the rest of the concerned parties, Captain Sharp, Social Services, Susie's parents, and Master Ward are informed about the incident. Shortly after, Master Ward arrives at Fort Lebanon and asserts command of the scouts as they all engage in the pursuit of the young couple. Amidst the ongoing chaos, a violent hurricane and flash flood strikes the island forcing everyone to take shelter in the St. Jack Church. Meanwhile, Sam, Susie, and the rest of their group also arrive at the church where they first met. After successfully locating them inside the church, Captain Sharp goes after Susie and Sam as they keep on climbing higher altitudes to escape the pursuers. They soon arrive at a dead end and prepare to jump off the rooftops, knowing well that this will lead to their death. However, Captain Sharp arrives just in time and apprehends Sam and Susie on the steeple of the church. During the ongoing storm, Sharp reveals that he wishes to become Sam's legal guardian, allowing him to stay on New Penzance Island and maintain contact with Susie. Hearing this, Sam is overjoyed and accepts Sharp's offer. Moments later, the steeple is hit by lightning as everyone thinks the worst has happened. However, it is soon revealed that even though the steeple was destroyed by lightning, 
Sharp managed to save them. The scene then shifts to Summer's End, where we see Susie reading a book while her brothers are playing on the floor. Meanwhile, Sam is seen upstairs painting a landscape of Moonrise Kingdom. In the last of the movie, Susie and her brothers are called to dinner, while Sam slips out of the window to join Sharp in his patrol car. Before leaving, he promises Susie that he will see her the following day, and the movie ends.